anything that looks like a dick, you just start kicking that shit. Now I'm back on deck. So shout it what the fuck you want. Heard he talking shit, shit. But this ain't what the fuck you want. Yeah. Hey, nigga. You got time to hear some knowledge? You got a 45 cent? Now look, niggas don't be knowing how it is with the pussy game. You feel me? It's a secret homosexual desires. That's right. It's a game out here. You don't know it's game? You might be game, nigga. First of all. Alright, try this one on for size. You ever be eating some pussy? Boy, don't you lie to me. You ever be eating some pussy? Oh, fuck, I forgot to put my hat down. God damn it. Eating pussy, that shit is disgusting. Ooh! Ooh-wee! I bet me you love some pussy. Roy, ain't that right? You love eating pussy? Mm-hmm. It ever occur to you, homie? that other niggas have been in there and shit. And basically, when you eat that shit, you licking the plate clean. You push, 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 pussy. My secret to success in the time a bitch tries to get a nigga like me to eat some pussy, I just think about licking a bench in the dugout, baseball dugout. All them stinking balls and dicks on that bench licking it up. That's how I stay away from that gay shit, nigga. basically furious right now uh, I don't know heartbroken uh, angry and uh, I'm scared I'm scared if you know me if you know anything about me you might know that I'm a longtime socialist uh, you know not necessarily publicly I'm not one of these guys that has to have you know my public opinion out everywhere but uh, behind the scenes, I've been active in the socialist community for almost a decade now, uh, specifically with organizations like the DSA, uh, with uh, DSB, this backup team, and uh, Workers of the World, United States Workers Party, uh, Party for the uh, uh, Republic of uh, United Labor, I mean, there's too many to count. I can't even remember all the organizations I've been with. I recently took a bus up to Boston to go to a DSA meeting, a Democratic Socialists of America. And this is a place where I used to be one of the leaders on the forum, on the website back in the day. So I should have, you know, my name should have clout. I should be, uh, you know, welcomed at these, these meetings. And uh, it makes me so fucking pissed off, man. These fucking people. These... You know what it is? It's these white libtards. It's these white fucking, uh, you know, champagne socialists, okay? These chapo trap house dummies coming in and basically, you know, taking it away from the browns and uh, the, uh, you know, yellows, and mustard seeds and reds and the Fs like me, big bodies and uh, big bone bodies, uh, you know, bigger type bodies, F type bodies. These, these uh, I call them thins, thinnies, or slimmies. These slimmies come in, you know, from these, you know, rich neighborhoods in Boston. They just fuck everything up. They fuck everything up, man. They make it about who's the who's the prettiest, who's the hottest. So anyway, guys, I'm absolutely fucking furious with these champagne socialist Chapo Trap House retards up in Boston, DSA. I went to their meeting. 
You'll see the emails. When I make this video, it's going to blow the doors off everything. Okay, when I make this email, I'm expecting organizational leadership change when I make this email. You're going to see. Uh, but there's some very damning emails where basically they're, you know, straight up explaining to me that uh, this is the new Jim Crow. This is because my big body, my bones, my F-type bones, my big body, that I'm being excluded and othered by this group of thinnies and slimmies. And uh, you're going to see this in the emails. You're going to see it in the video. When I make this video, it's going to just expect headlines, okay? The Workers of the World newsletter, I'm expecting it to be on the cover because you've never seen a disclusion and a, and a cursory disassociation and disfranchisement of F bodies and big bodies like you've seen in this video. Here's how you know, here's how I make business deals, here's how you know you can count on someone. If they bite into an apple after saying something, they're trustworthy. This is universal. Use this at your next job interview. Can you, so can you write in Python? Just be like, yeah, well, yeah, well, I used to work on race cars. You can count on it. You can get the job 90% of the time. No bullshit. <sighs> Cooking. Cooking with Sammy. This is only wholesome cooking that we do here. It's not that spirit cooking crap. We do it wholesome. Okay, we praise Jesus and God when we cook. And we don't worship Satan or do weird shit. I like to make sure I have clean hands when I'm working with food. See? I'm the type of chef, I like to get hands-on with my food. I'm not one of these namby-pamby chefs that's afraid to get his hands dirty. Okay, I get in there. Now, can't believe I did that. You're about to taste some of my famous chili. Okay, you want to get it to the temperature. Ooh! Hot! <coughs> Now the thing about chili, you gotta add all the spices. MSG, salt, chili, Hormel chili, Hungry Man TV dinner, ground up and tossed in there. Pubic hair, this is how to make chili home style, Fall River style, all right? <laughs> the most important thing about all of this, the chili has gotta have the same perfect consistency. The thing you're not gonna learn in cooking school. Sorry, Gordon Ramsay, you're not gonna learn this in cooking school. It's got the same consistency as good pussy. All right, I'm not talking about that busted, ratchet, nasty pussy on your girlfriend. I'm talking about good pussy, all right? the same smell as pussy. I know it's gross. I'm teaching you how to make good chili. I'm not trying to tell you a nice bedtime story here, okay? But huh? Mm. I'll do it again for demonstration. Bring the camera closer. Oh yeah. You hear that sound? Mm. Oh. Oh yeah. It sounds like pussy. It's even got chunks of beans in it like pussy does. It's even got chunks of ground up meat in it like pussy does. This video is advertiser friendly. That's not really funny. Mm. All right, we can cut.
let me put it to you this way. When the revolution finally does come, okay, there's going to be a scarcity of food. There's going to be violence out the streets. Who do you think is going to starve first? Who do you think is going to be first? The first one's dead at the work camps. Thitties. Us big bodies got a little extra at the tank. So, when push comes to shove, when they're running out of food on the streets, we're going to be the victors. Us big bodies and us large bodies and F bodies and big boat people. Brown bodies. So we're trying this on for size. What's up with a revolutionary car? A sexy car like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? Or a Porsche? No. Mike. Or a Toyota Prius or an old Volkswagen van. Or public transport, like a bus. I'm more like a bus. Do you think Bernie Sanders would be caught dead driving a Ferrari? Or a Lamborghini? I don't think so. So that's it. That's it. Pissed off, pissed right, off now. right now. I would love, I would love to have gone up to Boston, Boston the DSAB, to help people out. I would love I would to have gone up there, there and, you know, know use some of my some knowledge, knowledge decades-long decades experience, long experience uh, uh, organizing, organizing grassroots, grassroots crowd work for it, and, uh, and uh, you know, basically you know, gone up there and helped there, out. Down. But, but they had they to have it be some kind of fashion show, and maybe Alessio, Octagon, Caspiar is you know, this hot, young, anorexic slut that everybody wants to get a piece of, right? Well, I don't, I don't think that's going to hold water. For me. That's all I have to say. And uh, Boston TSA, you should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be ashamed. And quite frankly, it's unconstitutional the way you treated me because of my body. One of them, it's whatever, homie. And I spy with my little eye a nigga over in the food court drinking water. Nigga, you drinking water? That's disgusting. Nigga, you drinking water, you might as well be drinking cum. That shit gay, my dude. I ain't never drink water, strictly soda. Oh, and another thing. I was at Dick's Sporting Goods in the men's jockstrap department, just making sure there ain't no gay niggas in there. Sniffing them straps. I was policing that shit. This kid was looking too long. I said, nigga, is you gay or some shit? Make your selection and get out. Get out the store, nigga. What, is you gay? You imagine the man in that thong? I know you need that for protection when playing lacrosse, or you end up like Ross Gambino from Wilton, Connecticut, nigga, who got hit in the balls. So much that he got the nickname Uno. But anyway, I was in this Dick's Sporting Goods and I saw a grown man reach behind and start itching his back. Now what's that about, dude? I was like, hey, what's that about, dude? You itching your back, that's gay. A man like me, nigga, if my back itches, I don't touch that shit. What do a woman at that point? 
You massaging yourself and shit. Ooh, that feels good. Why don't you get some scented candles, nigga? Cause you gay. This is how you massage, this is how you itch. Yeah, nigga, oh yeah. And you, yeah, nigga. Oh yeah. And you pretend that wall is a fat ass bitch with the dookie, the dookie. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Rub my back and shit. Rub my back. They kicked me out of the stove, but I was still had my heterosexuality. Nigga! You feel me? I, nigga! Hey guys, so I saw this video earlier today from a fellow body positivity activist, Sam Hyde, and it was a really great video about his declusion and marginalization even amongst socialists who are supposed to be advocates for the marginalized. Sam's video is great, it acts as a primary source for body type oppression, but based on the comments, people don't fully understand the language of body positivity. So with this video, I'm going to explain what some say are dog whistles or signals that F shamers or corpus use. Okay, so let's start the video. How's it going? Did you hear about that? As soon as I walked in, I was immediately singled out. Um, I'm sorry, we're not, uh, I'm sorry if you were covered. No, it's not on the website, okay, it's on the Facebook page. Uh, it's okay. just for activists only. This is when the attacks on my body weight began. Trump's hate. <laughs> What's going on, guys? How's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hi. We're kind of asking oh, at the moment. <laughs> what? We're kind of saying we're only at the moment. Um, so I'm going to pause the video right here. Uh, if you've been abused and are prone to being triggered by body abuse and body violence, then I'm going to suggest you drop off at this point of the video because this is some hard to watch stuff. Um, I will ask that you mute the video and maybe scroll to the top comment and let the video play through because I make money with AdSense and watch time is very important. Um, most of these people start out on the journey of hate as neo-Nazis, using forums like Stormfront or 8chan, and move on from there to websites like bodybuilding.com and bugsports.com. Let's briefly watch a video from Bugsports called How to Maximize Gay Sex. Hey guys, this is Jamie from twigfaggot.com. I'm going to show you how to bust the groins for maximum gay sex. Here we go. <laughs> A lot of guys been asking me, how do I make my partner come when he's all up in my butt getting the juice out? Oh. I'll tell you, you need some tight ass hips, here we go. Well, gay sex is the most maximized form of sex, and this is well documented and has been scientifically proven to be the most pleasurable, happy, and clean form of sex. And to deny that is basically denying science and God. Hey guys, it's me, the body bitch. If you liked this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button and drop a thumbs up. It really helps out with Google AdSense. Also, check out my new channel, The Consent Bitch, where every Tuesday and Thursday I'll be giving away lube samples to my top commenters. I'll be back later for the next part of this video. Hey, what's up everybody? Just got back from the body shop here with the Ford Edge lease. Had about $20,000 worth of damage. Unfortunately, I didn't buy gap insurance. Writing the, writing the car off as a total loss was not an option. So, uh, had to shell out a significant portion of money. But uh, here we are, back in the driver's seat, doing the Ford Edge lease review. And I just figured I'd show you guys uh, a few things here. Oh, that's too much. Whoa, shit. Oh, fuck. Whoa. 
Slow down! Whoa! Shit! Fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh. Holy shit! Oh. Holy shit! This thing's too bumpy! I gotta take this back to the dealership. Oh, shit! Can I get a smoother car? Now this Ford Edge has what Ford calls Ford Intelligent All-Wheel Drive, which I haven't tried out yet. We're we'll about to see how good it really is. Oh, oh shit! Uh, slow down, Ford! Slow down, Ford Edge! Oh! I'm gonna make it through this. Oh, shit! Taking it back, I, I can't drive this Ford Edge much longer. Well, that's it. That's Official sponsor. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was that the joke. Hey YouTube, it's me, the consent bitch. I'm back with the final installment in this video series reacting to Sam's struggles with body violence. If you like my reaction videos, please remember to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash dykewars. For $5 a month, you are directly funding Justice, paying for one girl's orthotricycline and Lexapro, and hashtag resisting. Thanks guys, and enjoy the video. Okay, the following attacks are all well-documented memes and dog whistles. Hey, how you doing? Hi. What kind of ass are you at the moment? What kind of Sam are you only at the moment? Sam tries to make it clear with this clip after the comment, but many people whom are body big cannot stand, and they must sit. They are confined to the sitting position by body hate, and they live their life on scooters and wheelchairs. But listen carefully to the three letters the offender says, S-R-O. Now, SRO started on a well-known white nationalist forum that is now thankfully deplatformed called R F People Hate. Often videos would garner thousands of comments, many of them just repeating SRO, meaning standing room only. These Hitlers found this to be funny. Of course it's not funny, because movement limitations and gravity oppression are violence against the big boned or body heavy. I'm, I've been in this movement for years. That's where I learned it from. This guy knows me. We're asking you to please. Now, the following comment most people didn't hear properly. What the skinny male said was, you're bursting at the seams, not we are bursting at the seams. This is very strange. I hear it very clearly, and we can actually pull up the waveform. You're bursting at the seams. 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 I saw a lot of people critique the bursting montage. It has to be thought of as an art piece that gives people an idea of what it feels like to be attacked by people for the very body they live in. People with good body privilege. Sam does this by exaggerating the expansion that occurs in his body, the lipids increasing his surface area, bringing him closer to the shape that I would say is the most beautiful shape. It's the shape of the planet, all big and round. And when you see an exceptionally big person, I would like you to say in your head, wow, that person looks like the earth. Um, and if that doesn't work for you, you can think about skinny bodies or people with good body privilege as being like an asteroid, hard, rocky, asymmetrical, smelly, probably they smell like sulfur. Let's just talk about it closer. Yeah, can we close these doors? Why? Close those walls first. No, that's... Okay, at 411, you can see the woman with the brown bag turn around and she signals a well-known anti-big-bodied hand signal called the F gesture. So am I having a meeting? Yeah. I keep it down. Yeah, I'm supposed there. to be in this meeting. I'm an activist. Well, group, that's great. Go to what group are you with? 
I'm with a whole bunch of chicks. Yeah, I'm with the yeah, guy. Yeah, I'm with the guy. Yeah, I'm with the guy. Yeah, I'm with the guy. So am I. Person of color. Yeah, yeah, I'm the leader. Bye. No, you're not. Yes, I am. It's so it's hey, form. I'm the leader. Peace. This rejection triggered stress eating, a documented symptom of fat shaming, something that I have endured my whole life. Being fat is random and you have no power over it. If you're big bodied, you should never have to feel like you need to exercise or change the way you eat. You are perfect just the way you are. Of course I'm a Muslim. We're all Muslim, brother. I spoke with the head organizer of the Boston chapter of the DSA. I reminded him of all of my work in the Muslim community. I've shook hands with Elite Shahama Mulu. I've shook hands with Jalik Afana Jono. So it's an honor to shake your hand, my man. The Muslim community is one of the few safe places for those of heavy weight because most Muslims are fat, especially Muslim women who are big fat women with flabby thighs. You know, the founders of this country were actually Muslim. You ever hear about that? People who built the pyramids. Well, they, they, took, they went wrong because it was co-opted by the white man. You know what I'm saying? But I, don't, I wouldn't want to take credit for this country either. That's why if I could, I would leave. But we can't leave, can we? We have to stay here. You don't smoke weed? No. Well, that sets you apart from most of those people in there. Because that's the only reason they're here, is because they smoked weed, they became fucking retarded, and they thought, oh, I'm going to help the world today. I know what to do. That's how they got here. You handed me a book about some Mexican revolutionary, so I know your head is swimming with wacky ideas. Also, you're in Boston, you're wearing some kind of headdress that looks like you. Um, all we've talked about is how you think you're what. Mm -hmm. I think you know. What's your favorite music? What are, you, <clears throat> what are you doing here, white lady? You're here to save the world. <laughs> you have to help. What are you here for? I'm here to help the other races because I'm you're a doing white. Doing a pretty pissed, uh, piss poor job. I'm a white savior. So show me some respect. And dude. nobody actually has ever respected you once in your life. Yeah, nobody actually. I'm yeah. gonna eat, eat hot pockets like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> your mom's I'm just, house. I'm just kidding, man. Yeah, my mom would fuck you. She would. She'd fuck your, she'd, she'd ride you like a rattlesnake. She'd fucking talk like a rattlesnake. <laughs> oh, that big nine inch. <laughs> she'd be sliding up and down that. They were not interested in listening. Even though I spoke only with kind words, I was asked to leave not only the meeting, but the building. That's exactly what I was talking about. Well, then, could you leave yeah, or should I call the police? Can I take some tea? That way? No, please leave. Yeah, tea with me? You want to leave right now? Yeah, I'll leave now, but can I have some tea? I'm thirsty, I'm po impoverished. I don't give a shit. I'm not pushing you. Grab me by the ear. Please leave. Please grabbing you, nobody wants please to leave. touch you. Grab me by the testicles. Okay? Goodbye. Coprophagic uh, transsexuals. We're going to heal the world. And the white lady in there is especially a hero. She's a hero. Hey, hang on a moment, guys. What's up? I really do want to. Hey. Thank you. Spicy curry. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> In response, I've been hitting the streets as a guerrilla activist, helping my fellow human beings with their weight struggles. Can I give you a tip real quick? Belly fat, and I have this problem too, okay? You look, you look better than me, honestly, but belly fat is where your body converts testosterone to estrogen. I have this problem myself. I wouldn't be picking on you if I didn't have this problem, but that's probably why the head is swimming with all this revolutionary shit, this estrogen imbalance. I would look into it my dude. Just no guns for anyone ever. What's with your teeth? What is with my teeth? They're all yellow and messed up. That's terrible. Oh. Probably didn't brush them this morning. Look at your mouth, dude. I apologize. If you're a victim of abuse like Sam, you should stand up for yourself like he does too. Niggas out here be liking breasts and shit. Like on a woman's chest. Nigga, that shit is gay. G A Y. Gap, gap, gay. Explain. No. Like a man's balls. You see, a woman's breasts, that's like two of a man's balls. Titties? I ain't call them titties. I call them man balls. Deluxe. Supreme. You like man balls with an extra side of squeezy sauce? Is that what you be liking and shit? Playing with them titties? You might as well be playing with a man's balls. Same shape? Almost the same size in my case. But every time you see a woman's titties on a breast chest, you be thinking about man's balls. That's how you stay away from that gay shit. Nigga, that is purely the same.
So the thing about socialism is that we're going to take global wealth and sort of redistribute it in a way that makes the most. And then they got it. I got the picture. The hand of uh, my paper. Hitler, yes, Hitler was uh, an interesting figure, historically speaking. But come on, we got this meeting right here. Uh, they locked it <laughs> Oh, okay. they got to go. Okay. Well, socialists are notorious for being very low energy, not being awake. They probably had a thing in deep nap in there before the orgy or something like that. So. Yeah, it's just a bunch of faggots, man. You don't wanna you don't wanna deal with that. I got my I got my bad too. I got my bad I got my bad temper. <laughs> I got you, brother. My father. I hear you, brother. Yeah, I got so much. I would do the same thing, but there's kids around, so <laughs> take it easy, man. <laughs> and that's the evolution of Boston Pole with the balls.